Today we're going to read a story out of Pete the Cat book. And this story is called Pete the Cat and Super Cool Science Fair. And it's by Kimberly and James Dean. So it looks like Pete the Cat is experimenting there. He has a battery and a light bulb and a glass with something in it. And then he has over here, he has a bucket with something with like two charges in there. Pete cannot wait for Friday. His school is having a science fair. Look at the science rocks he's thinking about. Pete has never been a scientist. Now he can try it out. He's going to try and be a scientist. Let's see how he does. Pete's teacher tells the students they will do experiments in groups. Pete is in a group with Kelly, Gus, and Squirrel. Our experiment is going to be groovy, says Pete. What shall we do? So now they're around the table trying to decide what to do. Let's build a mini submarine, says Kelly. Or grow a giant tree, says Squirrel. Or invent an invisible guitar, says Pete. Why don't we make a volcano, says Gus. You think they could make a volcano? Whoa, they all say. Volcanoes are awesome. The group plans the experiment at Pete's house. His mom brings them snacks. Would any scientist like a cookie, she asks. They all raise their head, hands. The cookies are warm and groovy. I don't think they want to raise their heads, would you? They want to raise their hands. And the cookies are just warm out of the oven. Just look at them. They're ready for a cookie. The scientists check the big book of experiments for materials. They need glue, water, newspaper, paint, and a plasma plastic bottle for the volcano. They need vinegar, baking soda, liquid dish soap, and a secret ingredient for the lava. So right up here, they're looking and seeing what all they need. Just look at them. They're really trying hard. Pete and Gus makes the glue in the water. Squirrel and Kelly tear the newspaper into strips. They cover the plastic bottle with glue and paper. It looks like a sticky white volcano. Yeah. Oh no, the paint in the brown bottle is blue. What are we going to do, Kelly asks. They can't find brown paint anywhere. They're gonna have a blue volcano. That's pretty cool, says Pete. Maybe it's okay that we have a blue volcano. We'll be the only group with a blue volcano, says Squirrel. Let's test the lava so we know the volcano will erupt at the science fair. So Pete says, Gus, pour baking soda and liquid soap into the volcano. And Callie, you add vinegar. Nothing happens at first. All of a sudden, a lot of lava starts coming out. Super cool, says Kelly. The team high-fives each other, but the lava is still coming out. Soon it is a huge mess. Oh, Mom isn't going to be happy, said Pete. At least the scientists are ready for the fair on Friday. When Pete and his team arrived at the fair, they see all the other groovy experiments. They all look awesome. Grumpy Toad and Octopus grew rock candy in a jar. Just look at them. Emma and Marty made slime. We don't stand a chance, says Gus, but don't worry, we have a secret ingredient, says Pete. At the science fair, Pete's teacher loves the blue volcano. Wait till you see it erupt, Peter, Pete says. There's their baking soda. 
The whole class watches Kelly pour vinegar into the volcano. A second later, glitter lava gushes out. Everyone cheers and the scientists cheer the loudest. Just look at their, the glittered l lava they have. Science experiments are hard work, says Pete, but being on an awesome team makes them a whole lot easier. The coolest experiment at the science, science fair. They got a, a special cup like for their experiment that they tried as being a scientist. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Enjoy the day.